So everybody, welcome back to more GTA 5. We're picking up where we left off in the previous episode. If we're here to see Lester, but I think this is a mission for the government. As far as I can remember, look, we've been, we've been doing a lot in this game. Like I said, we've been doing all the Strangers and Freaks missions, but also on top of that, everybody, thank you so, so much for all the love and support. And like I said, I do say it every episode. Look, I'm, I'm able to sit down every day, play a bunch of fantastic games. I'm either recording it for YouTube or playing it on stream on Twitch. I get to sit down and play amazing games every day. And like I said, we've only been, this channel has only been uploading story mode games for, I think, like two and a half months. So we've been doing pretty well, like I said, and the support has been absolutely fantastic. Like you guys swinging by every day, liking and commenting on all the videos helps out so, so much. And like I said, we've been pumping out two videos a day and a shorter day. So we've been putting in a lot of work. So it is gritty, gritty appreciated. All the support you guys have been showing. That's enough rambling. Let's just play some fucking GTA. I'd just like to point out how good our car is looking right now. This thing is kind of slick. I, I like the writing on the wheels. Cause like just the matte, I love, I love matte black. Matte black on cars is pretty nice looking. I would say it'd be expensive though. <laughs> I don't know why I just think having matte black on your car would be expensive. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet. So, so you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Yeah, Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, the shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief! So? So, there's some, uh, evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? No, 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 that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. I don't believe him. Didn't Dave, he get, let's go. Didn't he get shot in the leg? He seems to be walking all right for a dude to get shot in the leg. Come on, Lester, let's ah, go. Good luck, gentlemen. I hate him so much. Can we just, can we shoot him? Like, if we, if we just shoot him, we don't have to do any more jobs for him. It seems pretty simple, no Take right? us to the FIB building, parking lot entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go or they ask for a day off. So we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. You can't have a okay. day off? Their particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. We've got the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. You know, we'll follow him and see what we think. He should be coming out here soon. One of the things that sucks. Copyright? Here we go. Because I can't have the music on. And the music is so good. Is that him? Was that him? Because he said, here we go. Was that the license? I didn't see it. So what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, 
That sounds about right. I'm not gonna lie, he called the number plate out to me, and I wasn't even remotely listening. <laughs> Something's coming. This is not the car we're looking for. So what do we do? Well, what can we do? We do the job. Then maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Any more cars? That's it? That's not it. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur <laughs> won't be there for the crew. I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. We should be getting paid something for all this work. Like, bro, I'm wasting petrol right now. Ooh, what's this? It's a car. Uh, not our guy. Yeah, what I was saying is it kind of sucks because of copyright. I can't play any of the music because the music is absolutely fire in this game. Any more cars? I think I hear one. Yeah, yeah, there we go, there we go. Oh, he's moving. There she is. Stay behind him, but don't let him see you. Well, he's going to see me if I'm behind him, like. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going to happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's going to get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. Two quick turns and we'll be screwed. Get closer to him. Bro, oh, calm down, Lester. He's right there. I can see him, bro. Hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work-related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're gonna need more than a janitor's license plate number. And let me work on some angles while you, uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. Too fucking we close. spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. I'm gonna sit him behind this, these two cars. Drive like a sane person for once, Excuse please. Excuse me, this is perfect. The second driving. you want to take over, give me a shout. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation, and maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. Better? Or I'm gonna have to give him a little smack in the mouth? This much distance is a little reckless for my taste. Close in. You wanna drive? Damn, he didn't even try and slow down. Did he scrape the side of my car? I'm gonna find his insurance company. Hey, what's going on, bro? Wasn't even remotely our fault. We didn't drive across any traffic. <laughs> This is the longest red light ever. Gotta keep the tires warm, boys. In case we get into a high speed pursuit. I was hoping that truck would stay behind him so I could just keep the distance. Did he just say his band's called the Fresh Metal Detector. <laughs> I think that's what he said, right? Right, truck, go left, go left, go left, go left. Hope you're just gonna sit at this red light. Was he pulling in? He's pulling up. Park down the block. Go in and have a word. Harvey Molina. Oh, yeah, the guy there. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, 
say, look, um, I'm busy. The only one she needs something. Oh, she's one of those girls. Dude, look at all this rubbish. I need to clean all this shit up. Are we going like into his apartment? Okay, I suppose it makes sense if we're gonna interrogate him. You got another one of those, Harvey? Well, who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Well, he was easy to convince. There's no, there's no way we're getting away with that, right? <laughs> he was just like, ah, oh, fine. Yeah, sweet. Whatever. He wasn't like, why are you in my apartment or nothing? Also, fuck that bin. Hold on, is that her bin? Dude, she seemed like she was really cheeky to him. This is, I think this is her bin. Fuck her bins, bro. I mean, nobody, nobody bees nasty to Harvey. Push her bin over. <laughs> Harvey's our boy. Successful? Oh yeah. We gotta go back to my office. My dog is going absolutely mental out in the land, and she just had her dinner. And she's just scraping, knocking <laughs> off its carpet. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work, information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is LS based, so I thought Frank could tail him, take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts, license to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. We'll find us a contract that's worth a couple of hundred million then, big fella. I mean, you're the brains of this operation. I'm just, uh, I'm just the muscle. I'm just here to murder everybody. I'm clearly not the driver, as you have seen from my uh, previous encounters. <laughs> hey, uh, it's he's Frank. already here. I do like, I think Franklin as a character is really good. I think all the characters are really good because they're so different. I think that's why this works so well. I'm also wondering, is Trevor gonna get back on our side? Cause I think he's a little, I think he's a little pissed at us. Yeah. Just a little bit. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor. It's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans, but they're not online anywhere. I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right, Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. So I flew back up the house. There's another mission here for Michael, so we're gonna see what this one is. Every time there's one at the house, I'm always thinking, is his family coming back? I'm guessing they're not bad. That man needs to do a couple of dishes, bro. Or get a maid or something. Bye. 
Oh god, hey. the sun's back. Huh? But... <clears throat> oh. Hey. I'm sorry I spiked you, okay? I just, I get so mad and I can't control things and then, you know, shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just... Well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So, lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruin. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? Yeah, it's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. So he commended hey. you just to look at a car? Uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. No, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all. What's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit. Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Oh god, a star of what? Mom said she was at Bean Machine. Bean Machine sounds like a little coffee place? Dude, I'm still upset that that truck drove into the side of my car. I may have caused the damage in the R side. Just don't worry about that. Never so, seen that. <laughs> what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. There they are, outside. Come on, let's say hi. Guess we better walk up to him. I feel like he's yeah, setting baby. us up for something. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more bo uh, excuse me i'm trying to write a screen shush here. woman hey amanda fabian michael hi mom hi jimmy this is too a picture of holistic well-being i don't think hey maybe they shit once a year between them hey, oh that's my son amanda come i have a new unit card on hold you must pay for it hey hey buddy i'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I'm gonna punch him. Punch him. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What? What? what are you <laughs> I, I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Was he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda, I wanted to, I'm meaning to say to you, look, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! <laughs> I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No. No yoga. I, 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 
All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. I don't know what he just talked. They talking about coffee? See those people get like half, half latte, half calf, decaf, what? fourteen things on. It's like, bro, just give no, me fuck coffee. Oh God, no! That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo, that asshole. What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I think they're in here. The blazing tattoo. Dude, this place is nice, though. What is that? Oh, it's a theater? Right, okay. I think that's one of the ones you can buy, but it's like 20 yeah, million. You know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here's gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Uh, 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 Come uh -oh, on. Hold on. My punk days are long behind me, man. <laughs> are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah. Ugh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Ow. Oh, 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 that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah. Oh, my God. Ah. Papa Bear. What's Daddy number two going to think about Papa this? Papa Bear. Ah. Let's not get him involved. Ah. Let's do. If I knew I was getting this much work done, I would have brought a camera crew. Ah. Mommy. Oh, God, what are we drawing? Ah. That looks like a penis. That looks like a penis already. Just so you know, I've got a beachwear photo shoot next week. Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Ah. Oh. There we go. Oh, nice. Oh. You got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can. Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash oh. you over the head with it. Oh, too nice oh. Oh. Ah. Ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. You fucking asshole! I'm a celebrity. Oh. Oh, no, that's my that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. <sighs> yeah. All right. Yeah, All right, penis Trace, chest. Let's go. We gotta get to the third. I can't believe I drew a dick on him. <laughs> I'll like call you or something, okay? Bye. There's ever a family that needs therapy? My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? No. Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. What? Are you serious? Come on. No! Not quite. Not quite. What? what? Kids, it stands to don't go to prison or you're gonna have to tattoo your name in somebody's ass. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So transformational. I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga, <laughs> literally. Like Fabian, around the head with the laptop? Oh yeah, like, pow! Oh shit. Roman. Hey, hey! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We've got inner armor. Inner tranquility all over the beam machine bad. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. 
You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't have to feel superior about it. I'm still a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like... Dude! Douche! You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah! Awesome! Let's rob somebody! <laughs> do it, Dad! Yeah! Do, do it! it! Do, do it! it. Hey, Enough! Okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. This is not gonna go well, right? There's not a mission that's gonna go well. Amanda. Amanda. Good to see you again, Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. Oh, damn. You know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? <laughs> Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you. Complain it on the way to the fucking bank. They both got points, like. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? <coughs> no way. We'll both get a center. Before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. It. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. He's like, I'm out of here. Great. I think we made some real progress. Me too. Here. I think it went well. Oh, uh, Michael, <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What? Double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey, so are you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. You might get, might get a little action after all. I think the therapy went well. Take us home, then? Oh god, I've got to drive us home as well. Bro, what am I attacking? Four grand? You just can't see behind the camera. That just cost me four grand for that. You know, there was a moment there. I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like, maybe we need more time. Hold on. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. I know I'm going the wrong way, but don't worry about it. All right. It. I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. Uh, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we got to work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, hey, hey. Oh, 
Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our death, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. Oh, God, that'd no. be an interesting Jeez. one. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I give it my best uh, shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. Like I said, this is one of my favorite things. Rooms. Is the mixture. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Is the like how different the missions are? And like you get like a wee bit of backstory, you get like this, like you have to go and get your family back and do therapy, man. <sighs> Such a good game. But everybody, I think that's gonna be a good spot to stop off for this episode. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Only if you fucking want to on YouTube. Have yourselves a fantastic day.